Hi, and welcome uh, to Lunch and Learn with the Wisconsin Farm Bureau. My name is Steve Bowe, and I am the Director of Local Affairs for the Wisconsin Farm Bureau. Uh, and today we're going to talk a little bit about the Local Affairs Program within the Wisconsin Farm Bureau and how you can help take advantage of it. So I am uh, not new to Wisconsin Farm Bureau, but new to this position. And prior to being the Director of Local Affairs, I was a district coordinator here within District 4, so West, Western Wisconsin. Um, and today what we're going to do is take about 10, 15 minutes to talk a little bit about local affairs and how you can play an active role in that. So local affairs came about from county farm bureaus wanting and believing that there was a need to play an active role at the local level, at the grassroots county level. And so what I do is I assist counties when an issue arises in which they want to play an active role, both on a proactive and a reactive basis. So to give you a couple examples on proactive, we have a number of counties that are bringing town supervisors, county supervisors, uh, local decision makers out to the farm to talk about issues regarding agriculture some of the great things that are going on in agriculture, some of the challenges that we have within agriculture. On the reactive side, um, for instance, we have a county that has had some issues with theft of copper wiring from uh, irrigation pivots and theft of batteries. And so working with the county to address and, and talk with local law enforcement to see about extra enforcement uh, and also talking with salvage yards to making sure that they're following current law in regards to uh, identification when collecting those sort of materials. So there's any number of different ways in which for county farm bureaus could take advantage of the local uh, affairs position. The one thing that uh, I want counties to bear in mind is that the county has to want to take advantage uh, of the position and they have to want to get involved. Um, my job as the Director of Local Affairs is to assist you, but not necessarily to do the work for you. I'm, I'm there as a resource and a coach for you. Um, and so as issues arise, uh, feel free to talk to your district coordinator, talk to your district director, uh, and feel free to give myself a call. Uh, we're a great team in working together to help counties assist uh, problems that arise. So I'm happy that we have Lynn and Sarah and Katie with us today. Um, I guess, uh, you know, I encourage you to reach out to your district coordinators. They have a wealth of information um, and just a, a tremendous amount of experience uh, with the resources that are available to county farm bureaus, whether it be myself or others. Um, they are kind of a, a great gatekeeper to great information. So I would encourage county farm bureaus, county farm bureau members uh, to get in touch with their district coordinator regarding issues uh, that we can be helpful with. Um, Katie, do you have any thoughts, questions uh, regarding how county farm bureaus can take advantage of the local affairs program? Uh, well, I guess maybe some thoughts. Uh, I've had a couple counties that have really, um, I guess, embraced uh, the program and, uh, you know, something that we've done at our uh, County Farm Bureau board meetings is put local affairs or local issues on the agenda. Um, and, uh, you know, it really gets people talking, whether it be anything that is, I don't want to say meaningful, kind of in a loose term, anything that really, um, you know, needs any help with. Um, but like I said, it gets, it gets the board members talking and at least if nothing else, um, you know, kind of gets everybody on the same page and out of that, you know, there's, there's been some good stuff that's come out of there. Um, and then also even just, you know, when something comes up in a County, um, like we've done a lot of work in Dunn County with some, um, some stuff going on there. Um, but you know, I think, um, it, it's hard. It's a lot to wrap your head around, uh, as far as, you know, if you're out there as a farmer, um, you know, you see something that maybe is coming up, but you know, what do you do about it? So that local affairs position is nice. You know, it's a, um, a helpful position to where, you know, our farmers are out doing what they do best farming um, to, you know, give them that help of what do I do when I see an issue arise? 
And that's a great point, Katie. And I thank you for bringing up that point of, of putting the local affairs on the agenda. My philosophy with that is just have a quick five minute conversation. Who have you talked to within the last month? Have you had any conversations with decision makers? It could be your land conservation. It could be the county sheriff. Maybe it was a county supervisor. Did you have a random conversation with them? What did they say? Have there been any interesting news articles within the local papers? What's the general consensus in the community? Did something happen uh, within the ag commu community? It, just taking five minutes and having that simple discussion can make a big difference. District coordinators are very good at putting those sort of details in minutes. And I see all of the minutes from across the state. And that's also a good way for, uh, for me to see kind of what's happening out in the, in the state as far as local affairs. But it's important for counties to have that conversation. And my philosophy with members is if you see something, say something, or if you hear something, say something. Um, we need to float that sort of information uh, up to the top and not just necessarily keep it out at the ground level. So thank you, Katie, for bringing up that point. So a couple of other things. Uh, a lot of people don't necessarily know about their county websites. So I just brought up two of my, my home county and my neighboring county's websites just to kind of run through some some quick things as far as you know identifying who county board of supervisors are um, maybe some of the committees that would be important for those in agriculture um, each county website is different and so to be fair some are easier to use than others some are a little bit uh, more difficult uh, so I, I picked my home county and a neighboring county uh, Jackson County here um, they actually have a fairly simple system. If you go to the community calendar, you'll see all of the committee meetings and county meetings for uh, the month. If you click the Land Conservation and Ag Committee, you'll see the hearing date uh, and time. Uh, in Trempla County, uh, theirs is also fairly simple. Uh, if you go to agenda meetings and minutes, you can see the standing committees for the county. Uh, you can also look at the district supervisors under the government um, and their information. Uh, also look at agendas. So there's a tremendous amount of information that's at our fingertips um, with the, the county websites some townships, not all, um, there are definitely fewer of those, but some townships also have a website in which they provide that information. Uh, so I would encourage Farm Bureau members, county Farm Bureau boards, uh, to get in the habit of just kind of checking what's happening within their county uh, in regards to you know what's on the land conservation agenda. Um, and it's an easy way to just kind of see what's happening within their community. Um, so I, that's kind of a very quick tutorial about what I do within the local affairs. I am not based in the Madison office. I'm actually based here in Jackson County in a little town called Taylor, but I spend the vast majority of my time traveling the state um, meeting with County Farm Bureaus. And so, um, if you have any questions, I am more than eager to go and, and meet with your county to discuss uh, you know, maybe what is the issue or what are you looking to help educate the public on and ways that we can achieve those goals. Um, and so I, I encourage your county to have those sort of conversations. Um, we don't have any, uh, at, at this time, members uh, on the conference call or Zoom, um, so we don't necessarily have any questions at this point, um, but feel free to go to wfbf.com. Uh, my contact information is on there and feel free to give me a buzz and we can go from there. Uh, also, just wanna reiterate, feel free to contact your district coordinators. Uh, they also are a great resource for County Farm Bureaus and County Farm Bureau members. So with that, unless Katie, do you have any other insights uh, that can be shared? Um, 
I guess the only other thought that I had, uh, you know, before we wrap it up, was, is uh, to get to know your town and county board members uh, personally, because then if something does come up, um, they maybe would be more apt to tell you rather than having to go to these websites and find out what's on their agendas. Well, and, and also feel free to invite them to County Farm Bureau board meetings. Um, yep. they, they too can provide a wealth of information of what's happening within local government. Um, so don't be afraid to bring in a guest speaker every now and then as well. So with that, I think we're going to conclude today's Lunch and Learn. And uh, I appreciate those that were on the call with us today and uh, look forward to hearing from many of you about ways that you want to get actively involved at your county level. So with that, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.